Cracky Peeps, it's Angel Holt and Angel Holt Designs. I'm here to show you how to alter um, a container. This is something I found at the Goodwill and uh, I cleaned it up a, uh, and scraped off all what was on it. It looks to me like uh, something you sit on your desk and put envelopes or whatever in there or stuff, but I'm going to use it to put like my scissors and stuff so I can have better access to them right here on my desk. Um, I do apologize for the top of my hand here. Uh, it has offended some people and I do have a new kitten and it's scarring and I'm trying to use that scar cream on it. So um, just to get that out of the way. Um, so what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to theme this uh, blue jean and lace, and uh, I have some pieces of blue jean here from an old pair of pants my daughter can no longer wear, and I'm going to use hot glue and cover the outside um, in blue jean, and then we'll go from there on uh, how I want to finish decorating this. So the video speed up. And uh, it'll speed up so that I can just simply um, put the blue jean pieces on here and glue them down and everything. So, alright, well, let's get started in decorating this.
everything is blue jeaned up, as you can see there. Now, I took strips of the uh, blue jeans, you know, the, the, the seam of them, and I'm going to use these to cover that nasty blackness there. And because this is a thick um, piece, I'm going to trim it right at the inside from from the inside here to the inside of there and then that way when I glue it here the other piece can set nicely kind of like that you know so that it doesn't look so bunched up in that area so or you can miter it if you want um, but I am going to do it that way. So, and again, just add some hot glue. Just like this. Do it in sections, I would suggest. Um, you can use other glues instead of hot glue to feel comfortable. But hot glue works really well and give it a firm press and yes there's going to be a little lip there but I like that okay all right try to get it as straight as you can this blue jean has a little bit of stretch in it, which really gives it some ability to be able to move and manipulate a little bit better, like that. And if you want, you can trim away a little bit, like that. And I like the uh, edges like this, so I'm just going to take my fingers and rough them up, you know, just like that. I like that sh shabby blue jean look there. And you can do the same to this right here if you want it to. So all I'm going to do is go around and finish putting all of this on and then we'll get to decorating with lace. Okay. Okay. I have pulled out some, um, this is a t lace tool. It comes in a six inch roll. I got it at Walmart. Um, and it's lace. Um, and it's really pretty and I cut it in half. I pulled me out some of that. I pulled me out some dollies and some other things I'm going to try. I had the idea of taking uh, dollies and, you know, kind of doing that. And then I'm, that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the dollies on first. So, and I'm just, I'm going to apply the glue to the dolly and just let it drop on there like this just like that now on the edge here I'm going to apply a stream of glue down like that give it a press Okay, and then do that across the bottom. Okay. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is snip away the dolly. Like this.
there we go. And then this piece I can take and have it coming off the edge like that. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do there. This is a six inch dolly that I'm using. I got them off of eBay. Um, so if you're looking for dollies, eBay is a great place to search and get them. Okay. Ugh. Blue webs. Now on this little piece here, I'm just going to let it wrap just a hair around the back there like that. And then, see there, okay, and then across the edge here, just press that, like that, then take your scissor. And there you go. Now, uh, this one's cute. It's a different color. And I'm going to spread this one out. And I'm just going to glue down the bigger part. I'm not worried about gluing down every single um, piece here. There you go. All right. There we go. And again, what you're going to do is just snip away. Now, for the edge here, that's where I would glue it down. There you go. And just put a little dollop of glue, nothing. And you can use fabric tack if you want to, if you don't feel comfortable using your hot glue gun. Um, you can use fabric tack. It's turning out cute, cute. Okay, on this side, I have this square one here. And you can put it on there like that. And just carefully, just carefully place these and glue them down. Just like that. I did my nails earlier today. And I got glue all over them. Okay, just like that. Again, you're going to trim off the edge there. Trim off the edge there. And then on the back, you can do a full dolly like that. I think I'm going to put it right here. And again, I'm just going to glue the center down like that and glue just the petal edges of okay. There 
there we go. All right, and then I'm gonna add another white one. I'll probably put it right there. Kinda straighten it out. I'm gonna snip off that like that. There we go. And just put a little bit of glue on all of those little petals there. Okay. And press. All right. Now we got the dolies on. Now the next thing I want to do. Is figure out I pulled out some trim like I have this trim you know to do like a little I don't know I pulled that trim out I got this beautiful trim from Stacy the other night and they're gorgeous mm, I don't know I might have to use it Do I have enough to do just this side along the edge? Oh, yeah, yes. Okay. That's what I'm going to do there. This is a double strand uh, pearl and rhinestone trim. Um, so beautimous. Thank you, Stacy. I have just enough to do, put it on this beautiful project. Bling and pearl are amazing. There we go. Now I'm gonna wrap it around here. And I'm just adding glue there there we go finding fun little boxes like this at goodwill are really really awesome you get them and they're all scuffed up and ugly but then just a little ingenuity and um an idea can make it all better just like that And then I'm going to bring it up just right there. Oop, need a glue stick. And I'm just adding it. And I'll get rid of all these glue webs. There we go. And then I'm just going to snip right there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Isn't that pretty? It just shines and shimmers. Shines and shimmers. I love it. Okay, also, um, it drives me nuts when I got something, like if it's curvy, but I know it's the blue jean. It has a natural curve in it. So, okay, um, the next thing uh, you want to do, which is I'm going to go dig up some more stuff. 
um, is figure out what else you want to do. Like, do you want to put something along the sides here? And I was thinking of adding like some more of that trim that was there, add it right here. Um, I have, now these are the pants that they come off of. You know, like, I was thinking of taking these right here and like put them one or two up here so that it can hold a tool, which I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take these parts off and uh, gather up some uh, stuff and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I've cut out some different things here. I thought this cute um, little pocket that was on the jeans would look really cute here on the front. So I am going to glue this down to the front here like that just for decoration and then the cute little pocket you know it can hold something small and then I trimmed off some edging here and what I'm going to do is run a bead of glue down there and then I'm going to try to center this like that and kind of press it around the edge like that so just run a bead of glue down the center and then while the glue is hot just press so it kind of curves around the edge of the the side there and then flip it over where you can see it and snip it flush and just curve it around like that then you're going to do that on this side okay and Again, just run it down the center there and press and just work it around. The glue will distrib distribute around the distribute. That's the word I'm after. And on this edge here, I'm just going to put a little bit more like that, just for my own purpose. There we go. And again, snip it flush like that cute I don't know if I want to add do it to the bottom here um, because this is going to be laying like on the flat on the table and um, it's probably it would probably keep it from being flush so and it would cover up more than what I would want covered up. But I am going to do that. I'm going to pin this down. Because it wants to be stubborn. And flip upward like that. There we go. Okay. Let me see. 
Yeah, I'm gonna do it on this. So again, I'm gonna press that down like that. And since I am gonna do this, I'm gonna lift this up. And if you if you out another rule of thumb, I always keep this product called undo. Um, always. And. Uh, it is a stain remover, glue remover, adhesive remover, and it just so happens um, you can get it at Walmart, Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, and it just so happens releases hot glue from fabric, as you see there, see? And it leaves no residue or anything, um, and the hot glue just peels right off. And it is like a staple in my craft tool thing, you know, because see, look, if I wanted to peel that hot glue right off, it would come just right off. I have a video demonstrating that product. Just look, just um, search undo, and I show you exactly what all it can remove. Uh, Fiona, so excited about it, I ordered her a bottle, and... I am shipping it out tomorrow to her. She was like, girl, get me some of that. Because we know Fiona uses a lot of hot glue. So I told her, I said, girl, I can save you the frustrations of No, I'm just going to press that like that. I can save you the frustrations of hot glue. And it removes stains. It removes um, paper on paper. You just watch my video. I show you all about it. I use it quite a bit. It also cleans up your um, mats for your silhouette and your Cricut. It cleans them up really good. Very nice. Okay. Again, just trim that up a little bit there. And do one more. There we go. But yeah, it's available at Walmart and stuff. You can find it in the craft section of Walmart. At least my Walmart has it in the craft section. You might find it in the fabric section for stain removers. Um, but it's it does way more than that. Now it does have like a lighter fluid smell, but it doesn't have the oily residue like lighter fluid that some lighter fluids have um it dissipates it doesn't leave an odor on anything um i demonstrated it to stacy the other night and she's like oh my god i got to get some so um yeah it's the bomb it's the lifesaver it's been out forever There we go. Beautiful. Nice, clean edges. It's turning out cute, cute. And then if you want to, you can go back through like that right there. I'm just going to 
glue that down and then trim it off as flush as I can get it. Nice. It's looking good, Gerpians. Alright. I thought blue jean would be great, uh, especially since this is going to be a tool uh, bin or something, you know. I thought it would be very durable and and everything. I wasn't worried about the inside because, like I said, my tools and whatever else I want to shove in there. Now, um, right here, like I said, I pulled off the little belt loops off of the pants. And I'm going to clean up the edges there. Okay. Oh, where did my screen go? Uh oh. Okay. And here on the front, I'm going to pull them taut. Just, and then I'm just going to kind of okay. All right. And then I'm going to scoot it in just a little bit so it can give it some slack so that I can put like bigger items in there so it gives me enough, see, gives me enough room to do that. So there's one. And I'm going to do the, the next one. I'll put one right there. Okay. All right. Oh, what in the world? Okay. There we go. That's cute. See, now what I could do is just like, if I wanted to, you know, set a smaller tool in there or whatever, but it would set in there. Um, and then, like on the back here, I can put another one for it to hold like a ruler or something. So I'm going to put this one back here. Okay. There we go. Just like that. All right. And now, now all you have to do is just clean up the edges and start adding your tools. You know, you can add pearls or whatever you want to do. Um, but this is going to be used quite a bit, so I don't want to add too much frou-frou stuff. Because, again, it's going to be used. But I think it turned out super cute, easy, and fun. And see, now I can set all of my tools, my scissors. Like I can put my little scissors here. Oh. Or I can put my little scissors in the front there like that. There we go there and as you can see that is it girlfriends this is what I call blue jean and lace tool caddy
So if you have any questions about any of the products that I use, please let me know. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And please, 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 it helps and it, it does helps me so much if you like and share my videos. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, so next time you go to Goodwill or see an old rackety box or something like this and it looks beat up and old, grab it. Because you can always alter it and make it into something absolutely beautiful and amazing and uh, something uh, useful for your desk. You can make these shabby chic style. You can make these in blue jean. You can make them uh, for a little girl, a little boy, just whatever you want to do. See, a little touch of bling goes a long way. So, again, thank you all for stopping by to watch this tutorial. And like always, I will see you in the next crafty video. Bye-bye.